How to add text in Canva. Let's go and do this real quick. All right, so we are in Canva, and let's just say we have a, a YouTube thumbnail is uh, a really good example of why you would need to add text. Let's just say we have a background though over here. So I'm gonna go to Elements, and I'm just gonna say Mountain Background. And then under Mountain Background, we might go to Photos right over here. And let's just go and find one. Scroll way down here, something that I've never used before. This might be cool, so let's go ahead and drag this one up here, and then it'll resize automatically. We've got a nice picture right here, and let's just say we're making a YouTube uh, thumbnail, so we wanna add text. So we're just gonna come right over here to the menu ribbon over here, and we're just gonna click on the text button. Now, there's all kinds of different fonts. There's like hundreds of fonts that, to choose from in Canva, and a lot of different text effects. I'm not gonna show how to do all that in this video, like all the fancy things you can do, but just to get started, if you really need to just quickly get started with a good font palette, is you'd come through here, and you would see that these ones that have the crown right here, they're pro, so you can't really just select those unless you have a pro account. But you sure can choose from over here, all of these right over here. And so you can just scroll through and it will just keep scrolling to, um, to whatever looks like whatever um, kind of theme uh, or text that you're going for. Uh, for example, if we wanted to go right over here and go with like this one right here, we would just click on it. You just left click and then it opens up right here. And then we would be able to double click in here. And I could just say something like how to add. And then right over here for the bottom part, I'm going to do a control A uh, text in Canva. So we would be able to do something like this if we wanted to. And then let's just say we want to change the color right over here. So you would just highlight that text and go up here to text color. And maybe we would change this to something else. But what if we wanted to make this pop just a little bit? So what you could do is you could come through here and maybe move that up or something. And then we could go back up to elements and exit out of this. And we could go to shapes maybe. I like this one right over here. And I usually will do something um, like I'll <clears throat> hover this over like that. And then we'll just move this like so. And then we'll come and change this uh, color over here. And maybe we'll make this color something maybe white right here. And then I will also add the transparency right here and maybe add it to where it just separates just enough to where we can really see the text. So maybe about right there. So you can do something like that, or you could even come in here and change the color to maybe a black. And a black might even do even better. We'll come into the transparency. Maybe we turn the transparency up or down a little bit, right? So there's different ways to add these boxes right here. I could go like that. And then we could also go to position and send this backwards one. And then now you have this text on the screen that pops. One other tip right here is that I don't like the space between right here, this text. So all we'd have to do is just grab the text right here and push this ungroup button. And then we can grab this and we can move it up and then we can add size to this, maybe something like that. And then I would just drag the left and right margins um, like so. And then I would just recenter it like so. And then I would finally, I would grab the back uh, ground, that little box that we created, and I would move it up a little bit more like so. And then now you have this text that pops out on the screen. Another thing that you can do is if you just need to add text anytime, just push the text button. And then when you come back up to the top, there's always a um, heading, a subheading and little text right there. I usually go with the heading um, with the things that I use this for, because it's usually I always have to make it bigger anyways. And then finally, we can just left click right there. No need to do a control A, we're, um, we're already highlighted all the text right there. And now we can come over here to fonts and you can find all kinds of fonts, like a display font over here if we wanted to. Um, and there's a font right there. And then you can either resize it by pushing the plus button here or just visually seeing how big you want it by going like this. So as you can see, it's really easy to mess around with the font. And then last but not least, we can come over here um, to extra text effects uh, right over here. I'm not gonna show you how to do that right now, but you may want to play with the um, 
the line spacing or the letter spacing like right here if you want that to spread out more or go in more you can do that so a lot of things you can do with text to make it pop and to add text to canva hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial if you did hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to canva creatives hub as i'm coming out with daily canva tutorials and um, i'll soon be releasing how to make money with canva i've got etsy shops i've got tpt shops um, and uh, i've had shopify stores in the past i've sold templates of things that i've created on canva so there's a lot of different ways that we can use canva to also make money online so you definitely don't want to miss when those videos come out. Uh, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.